afternoon ladies and gentlemen this is Redberry Wheel here and welcome back to another quick Civil Air Patrol video. In today's video we are talking about sewing insignia onto your collar. So if you are a cadet officer or if in well if you're a senior member and you're not enlisted senior member then you will get to sew on your insignia which is exciting and a little bit challenging but I did want to make this video and it's just a video of me sewing on some cloth insignia. That, that's all this is. And so if you've never used a sewing machine before, you don't have a sewing machine, you're not sure how to take off insignia, like once you've already got them on and you had them sewn on by someone, I do show a little bit of removing a patch, but I also have a patch removal video and I also have just a little tutorial video that I talked about just navigating a sewing machine. So hopefully those videos will be useful and I will link them up in the iCard for you so you can take a look at those videos if you think they might be useful. So um, with the uniform it is kind of annoying to have to sew on your insignia every time like with with cadet officer grades at least there's like the ghost promotions between each like actual physical promotion on your collar. So at least you're wearing those for a little bit longer than two months, which is kind of part of the reason why you've got the medal insignia for cadet airmen through chief master sergeant. And then after that, it's cloth insignia for cadets. And for senior members, flight officers wear them. So all three flight officer positions wear them in addition to second lieutenant all the way through major general CAP. So everyone gets sewn on cloth insignia. And just so you know, right now, as of recording this video, we are wearing ABU uniform, which means that the, the dark blue with the silver, uh, well, for, for cadets, it's going to be dark blue with insignia being silver. And then with senior members, it'll be gold or silver, depending on what grade you are. Because like, if you're a major, then it's going to be gold. If you're a second lieutenant, it's going to be gold, but it'll be on the dark blue. Do not, do not get the aquamarine like medium blue. That's old part of the BDU. BDO is gone. BDO is phased out. So you got to use the dark blue in association with ABU for the, the time being. And just as some general things leading into this, you're going to have to make sure that the insignia is centered on the collar in addition to being one inch from the edge. And so you'll need to make sure that the insignia is oriented correctly when you sew it on. I've actually seen it sewn on a couple of times wrong. And so horizontally, it's supposed to be long ways like this. So if you've got kernel, it's not gonna, well, I should say, get a kernel, it's not gonna fit across like this, like diamonds going this way, or captain, it's not gonna fit like that. And in this demo video, I show you with captain insignia, cadet captain insignia, so that you can see the way that it's supposed to be oriented, in addition to seeing some of the challenges with it, because it is a little bit tricky. So one of the things you should be aware of is that vanguard.mil is where all insignia can be purchased, and some, some units provide, some units do not. So depending on what your unit does, you may or may not need to buy your own insignia. For me, as a senior member, I've bought all of my insignia, which has been one because I've just had captain so far. But some, like, it takes a lot longer to promote as a senior member than it does as a cadet. So it's not as annoying on the senior member side in terms of sewing on insignia every few months. But on the cadet side, I know a lot of cadets have gone and had s someone sew them on for them. Like they paid a tailor to do it, that's fine. I also know cadets who have tried to sew, sew insignia on by hand. Sewing insignia on by hand is very challenging from what I've seen. The, the material is very thick on the collar. In addition to trying to get through the material of the, the cloth insignia, it, it can hurt your thumbs. So if you don't have a thimble, just be very careful. And if, if it starts to really hurt your fingers, don't do it. Okay, just be safe, be careful, and just, that that's my quick PSA about sewing it by hand. And like, I, I did do a video on sewing a patch by hand, and I, I can share that up here. It is not a fun experience, though. I, I didn't enjoy it. It's a lot easier with a sewing machine. And sewing is a good life skill in general, so 
there, there you have it. I recommend the sewing machine. So just moving forward for the, about the rest of the video, here is just a, a quick summary of how I sewed on a couple of cadet captains. And yeah, enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove the seams. And so if you didn't watch my other video, here's just a quick introduction. So basically I'm going underneath one of the stitches and I'm ripping through that because we need to take out all these stitches first before this is going to come off. And so there's that backside technique and this one was sewed on pretty tight and so I might need to do that for the entire thing. The main thing is that we don't want to rip the fabric underneath. So like this ABU material, it should still be flat and not be disturbed too much. Like you might see a ghost line from where the sewing was, like there's a little bit of that right here but you really want to make sure that you don't rip the ABU material because once you rip it, you, you really can't go back. You can always sew stuff on again, but you can't fix the ABU once you rip it. I mean, you can you can put patches over like small holes on the, like the back sides of the material, but at that point, like it's better to just be a little bit more careful. So at this point, I am able to pick this up a little bit off of the fabric so I might rip a little bit from this side, just pulling that through, making sure that I'm not pulling the actual ABU material, because pulling the ABU material is bad. We want to avoid that as much as we can. Okay. So I'm just going to speed this up for you guys afterward so that you can, you can see the full process of removing this insignia. Okay, and so then once we're done doing that, we can just remove the, the stringies. And there you go. So that's number one removed. And so I'm going to go ahead and quickly do the other one, and then we can move on to the next step. All right, so the next step is going to be taking the insignia. And normally when you order them from Vanguard, you get them in pairs. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my fabric scissors and cut this in half. So we've got two halves, and I lost my ruler, so I'm going to use my measuring tape here. Whenever we are doing our insignia, I'm going to move one away. When we're doing our insignia, we want to make sure that there is an eighth of an inch from the edge of the silver to the edge of the blue. And so when it's folded over, it's going to be kind of like that. So what I will do is I will take my measuring tape, and I will lock it so it doesn't move on me. And I'm going to look to see where an eighth of an inch is. And so, if I look right here, it's about an eighth of an inch. And we want to make sure that it's going to be 90 degrees when we do our two different sides here and here, right? So, now I'm going to go ahead and move my measuring tape out of the way. And I'm just going to lightly press on this. On this iron, I have it about at the synthetic setting so that I'm not hurting it at all. And I'm always moving my iron so that it doesn't burn the material. Oh, my iron is full of water. When it comes to the insignia, typically I, I like to do the short sides first with the ironing because it's a little bit easier than, I guess, I, I guess it's just a personal preference, but I'm gonna bring my tape measure back over again I'm going to confirm that's an eighth of an inch. It's a little bit less than that right now. So I'm going to measure that. And it says an eighth of an inch for me. So I'm going to go ahead, grab my iron, and we're going to do this. And remember, when we're using an iron, we always want to keep it moving. So that should be about good, but now I'm going to have to do those long sides. And so I'm going to fold this side over, and I'm going to measure to see if it's an eighth of an inch with my ruler. I'm going to check, and it looks like to me that's about an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and press with the iron.
Okay, so now I've done the three sides and I'm gonna do this last side here. Grab my tape measure and we're gonna measure an eighth of an inch. That's a, about an eighth of an inch. And I wanna make sure those corners are 90 degrees. So I'm gonna press this down, being very careful not to burn my fingers. Don't like to burn our fingers here. And so I'm just gonna press this and make sure that it's nice and flat. Whoops, <laughs> it seemed to have steamed a little bit. And so when I look here, I might press it just a little bit more, just a tad. And so that looks about right. And you'll be able to see here, there's a little bit of excess fabric sticking out and that's completely okay. We don't need all this extra fabric actually. So something you need to be really careful about doing when you're doing this is you really don't want to cut close to the edge, but the edges that aren't going to be close Can we not? So I think we're about there, but you might see that we've got a little bit of extra fabric here and we don't actually need that. So. One thing to be careful of is when you're cutting the insignia, you don't want to cut too close to the edges that you're sewing or else that can, that can create some fraying and that just won't end well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut it at an angle about like this. So you can see there that when I sew it down, I'll be able to hide that little tail. And like this, this edge I haven't cut yet, but this edge I have, and you don't really see that extra anymore. So I'm going to do the same thing with this side. I'm just going to cut about that much off. And so I will then be able to sew it down and hide those corners because you, you, don't, you don't really see them anymore. And I can just tuck them in a little bit when I'm sewing very carefully. And boom, see, it looks nice and 90 degrees. So I'm going to do the same process with this side. I'm just going to cut that corner off, being sure not to get too close to the edge, and throw that to the side, and there's this side too, being sure not to get too close to the edge. Okay, so now this piece of insignia is ready to be sewn onto the uniform. I'm going to do that with the other one, because normally you have two, you have one on each side of the collar. So we're gonna have a second one prepared and then we'll be able to put both of them onto the uniform. So we've got our prepared insignia here and we need to kind of generally find the center of it. So that's about here. And then I'm gonna measure one inch from the edge. And we gotta make sure that it's parallel. So it's gonna be parallel, this edge is gonna be parallel with the edge of the collar, so you see that, to that, and we're going to make sure that's one inch, and then I'm going to pin that. So let's, let's put my measuring tape here. And we also want to try to maintain the distances. And when I say the distances, I mean like the, the amount of the dark blue, sometimes it can shift if you, if you press it and then you, you wait a little bit. So I'm just going to do my best here. So that's about centered on the collar and then it's one inch from the edge. And that edge is parallel too. So I'm going to go ahead and pin that. Okay, I'm going to do the other side too. Here. Okay, so it's just to hold it in place. And if I do it and I sew it and then I realize that it's not quite where I need it to be, then I would take it off and then redo it. Okay, so for doing the insignia, I'm planning on doing the long side first. And so I've got my sewing machine all set up. If you've never used a sewing machine before and you have one and you'd like to know how to use it, 
I did create a couple of other videos to help as a resource for you. And so right now I've got my needle all set up. I'm going to actually pull this thread right here. That's coming from the top. Let me see if I can poke that. There we go. Because I want to be able to hold that down when I start. That's that's something I always do. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to move forward. Something we're really trying to do is make sure that's in the straight line and we've hit the corner. So, what we got to do is we got to look, and so we want to make sure that we're keeping this at a 90 degree angle. And actually, it looks like I may not have gone quite far enough right here, so I'm actually going to rotate it back, do a one more hand stitch, and then I'll put it back. So give me one second. Okay, so I did my one hand stitch forward and I'm close enough to the edge that I won't go over any of the silver. So I'm going to go ahead and go forward again. And I'm going to hand stitch one more forward to get close enough to the edge of the insignia. Lift the foot up now that the needle is down. And then do our best to get that to be 90 degrees. Um, this pin is actually kind of in our way right now, so I'm actually going to take it out, I think. Eh. I got it, I got it, I got it. There we go. Okay, so that pin is out of the way. And I'm actually going to hold the insignia down as best I can to make sure that it maintains our measurement that we did. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to make sure we're close enough to the edge of the insignia. So we did one more stitch forward. And then we've got one more side. We did 90 degrees, and I'm going to move my pin out of the way. Nice and slow, I'm going one more stitch forward, and I'm going to rotate, pushing the blouse through the machine, because I, I really need to in order to finish this off. Put the foot back down and go ahead and finish this off here. And I'm going to go forward, backward a couple of stitches, forward, and then make sure my, my needle is back up and I can lift the foot up. So there you go. So now you can see that the insignia is nice and sewn down. And I will use my scissors to cut the stringies. Got to make sure I do it on both sides. And so that is a sewn on insignia. Okay, so that does it for this video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you if you do have any questions about sewing, I do have a couple of years of experience sewing, so hopefully I can help answer your questions. Or if you've just got questions in general about uniform stuff, I can do my best to answer it. So thank you so much for watching, and that is all, folks. Until next time, toodles.